Let's crack. Let's code with Kidbright. Part one: Introduction of Kidbright and Kidbright IDE. Kidbright is an embedded computer. Simply speaking, it is a small computer that has a microcontroller to get information, evaluate, and command electronic devices. Before doing anything, connect the Kidbright board to an electrical generator to make every part of the device work. Kidbright has sensors to measure light and temperature. For the light sensor, if there is more light, the value of light will be higher. For the temperature sensor, if it gets hotter, the temperature level will increase. The values measured by these sensors will be converted to digital values that computers can read. Then the microcontroller is able to detect how much light there is or how low the temperature is. Besides that, there are inputs to connect external sensors, which are IN1 to IN4. And the board can also distribute electricity to all the sensors, such as a sensor for humidity level, sensor for vibration level, sensor for dust density value, any kind of values. Apart from reading values from sensors, there are buttons, which also run by electricity. If the button is not pressed, the power is off. If the button is pressed, the power is on. When retrieving information, the Kidbright board starts processing before implementing commands. So what commands can we create for the Kidbright board? To order the 8x16 LED screen to display to order the buzzer to make sounds of different musical notes, to send 5 volt power to USB ports for electrical devices, and to send digital signals from the output board to make other boards function. With all of these, there are a lot of ways to apply Kidbright with many things. However, we need to create sets of commands by coding via Kidbright IDE. We can download Kidbright IDE from this website, www.kid-bright.org and install it on a computer. Coding commands in Kidbright IDE are created by using block-based programming. When you need any part of the Kidbright board to work, just drag the blocks out and set command conditions to make the blocks work. Connect the computer to the board by using a USB cable. Then press the Program Build button. Kidbright IDE will convert the blocks to a coding language that is applicable with computers. Wait until the process is done. We are now able to write the commands. Let's crack, let's code with Kidbright.